Another option to request the software is to go directly to the autolandscientechusa.com website. We're going to log in with your ID and password. You're going to request the software as previously covered in videos on this site. We're going to right click on the auto load options. Then we're going to again enter our ID and password as on the main website. We're going to click on download query and save set. Once the auto load has been completed, we're going to double click auto update. You want to have your scanner plugged into your computer, then you're going to double click auto update. The Windows will ask for your permission, click yes, and it will automatically update the files onto your scanner without the need of using the file manager. Remember that your serial numbers on the screen and on the scanner must match for the downloads to be successful. Enter your ID and password, same as used on the main Autoland website. Click yes if you want to update again. This process may take a few minutes while the software is uploaded onto your scanner. To repeat the process, we're going to request the software update directly from the AutolandScientechUSA.com website. We're going to use Autoload to automatically download the software updates. Make sure your equipment is connected to the computer. Then you're going to use the Auto Update to upload the updated software onto your scanner without the use of the file manager. We can see on the screen how it's progressing on the upload to our equipment. Remember to use your same ID and password as on the main website that you're going to download the query, click on that option and save the set. Using this feature which is an exclusive of Autoland Scientech, we are going to save a lot of time because otherwise you would have to upload file by file manually using the file manager. Once the process is complete, click OK and you're ready to run your diagnostics with your scanner.